Sessions, Monday morning. I had a call yesterday from um, uh, Brighton and Hove Caravan Club, which is where I am now in East Brighton. Um, and there's a problem with a composite door on a store. Um, I'm nicking this trolley to put my tools in. Look at this. Um, so, my van's not there, steps. Um, yes, yeah, so I had a call from these guys yesterday to say that their uh, one of the store cupboard doors, that's, well, they can't get into it. Um, just spoke to one of the maintenance guys and he said it looks like one of the top hooks is releasing, but the bottom hook on the door isn't. So, we're going to have a look and see what we can do. But I worked for these guys before, uh, a couple of times, done a couple of jobs with them, they're really nice. And uh, yeah, we'll see what we can do with this with this door. Got my tools in the trolley, see what we can do. It's nice here though, these little pods, little glamping pods. Fancy glamping in Brighton and Hove, look at this, beautiful. I mean, not quite so much today. It's absolutely freezing. And we are expecting snow at some point this week, which will be tremendous. Little barbecue area, is that? Little deck. Might come here myself, you know? It's lovely, isn't it? All right, let's find this pod. All right, so this is the door. <coughs> Good old old on there, but that's not the problem. Um, so, everything's disengaged at the top and the middle. It's literally down here that we've got the problem. So, we've got to try and get out the hook, or yeah, I think it's probably a hook. Uh, out of there and get this door open and then see what we can do. It's probably going to be a new gearbox, maybe. By the way, this is a view of the front of the pods. I love them. Look how nice these are. Look. stay in one of these. All right, we've got, <coughs> got a bit of a problem here. So at the top here, you can see the house in there that the, hook, that the hook goes into, just about there. There we go. So that's the housing the hook goes into at the top. At the bottom, where the maintenance guys have had a go, getting in here, the housing's actually come away from the frame. So the hook's still gonna be inside the housing, but, the housing's come off of the frame. So we're going to have a big, big old problem here. You can see where they've had a go at getting a screwdriver in as well. Damage the frame. Right, we're in, but uh, it's broke the door, or broke the frame. Uh, where the, um, I think where the guys have tried to get in before, this was under so much pressure that it just wouldn't well it had fallen out you saw it had fallen out of there i showed you um yeah and it's it's broke the side of the actual broke the side of the actual frame there uh unfortunately but that is that is solid <coughs> so we have to put a new gearbox in what is it oh, that's a lockmaster. that's all right uh so we'll have that on board and we can get a new gearbox in there Right, so just done the three mile trek back to my van. Uh, just bought some more bits along. So I can get the mech out now and we'll get this swapped over. I, bought a, I didn't have my tape measure on me and I couldn't really see if that was a 35 or 45, but so I bought one of each. Uh, but yeah, we'll whip this out now and we will get it swapped over. Wow, just wow. So on close inspection, now I've taken the uh, mechanism out, the screw's missing holds the uh the top hook case in so we're, we're missing a screw there on the bottom case we're missing a screw and that's how that was so the actual the actual bolt that shoots out was actually tucked down there god knows how um and there's only one screw holding the center gearbox in so obviously this has been tampered with before 
uh, someone's had a play around with it and not put it back, not put it back properly. Hence why it's failed. Right, <clears throat> I've got this one back together. So in total, there's one, two, three, four, four screws missing. I've put two, the two in there, but there was only one screw in there. Uh, no, there was only one, I think, oh, I can't remember now. I think there was only one screw in the bottom case, one in here and one in the top case. Um, yeah, that's right, because I've got three screws. I've got one there, one there, and one in there. There's nothing in the centre case holding this in at the moment, but... I've just put it all back together. I've got I've got the screws down in there to hold that and one screw in there to hold that. And now it's all working. So hooks are coming out up there. Hooks are coming out down there. So this is all working. So the gearbox isn't broken. That's all popped out of there because there's no screws. Gearbox isn't broken. I've tried this as well. That The, the, the centre bolt's coming out as well. Um... I just need to go and get some screws because these, because this is a 45 mil case, um, they're a bit longer. And also, the ones up here, I've tried one of the smaller ones in these screws up here. Um, that one's fine, that one's just spinning. If I put a longer one in there, it pulls it in. So, um, yeah, someone's had a go at this at some point and just absolutely annihilated the mechanism. So, it's repairable. Don't need a new gear. I bought my gearboxes there. Don't need that. Um, it just needs. Um, just need some new screws, which I'm gonna have to go and buy because I don't don't carry them. All right, we're back. So screw fix is just down the road. So M4 40 mil. Uh, so I just need to cut some of these down to fix all this back together, and then uh, we can get it back in the door. Right, I've had to change the gearbox as well um, because the threads have all gone on these. It's literally not pulling in at all. They're just pushing through. I've literally just pushed that in. So I've had to change the gearbox as well just to get a fixing on that. Such a shame because the gearbox is working, but never mind. Oh, we're finally there. Right, so uh, new gearbox is in, mechanism, mechanism's back on, adjustments have been made on the frame, so now close in and lock in. Uh, yeah, I've had to make some adjustments on the hinges uh, to, to try and get the, because it was rubbing really bad along the bottom, along that bottom edge. So I've lifted the door up a little bit, tried to adjust it this way a little bit. So that's all that. Let's try it from the outside. Right, I'm at my friend's house uh, that I used to train with actually at Spartan. Uh, I was here on New Year's Eve. Yeah, no, yeah, New Year's Eve. Uh, his uh, back door here failed. Really, really old uh, Mako uh, mechanism. Um, wasn't able to get the gearbox. So we're gonna put in a Yale full strip. Uh, so he's had my um, temporary overnight gearbox on there since so I've just whipped that off and we're gonna fit the Yale uh, the Yale Universal let's get it done right step one completes and the mechanisms in handles back on uh, and cylinder back in so we've got to get this bad boy screwed in now but yeah working nice so yeah let's get it screwed in and then we can tackle the keeps that's my temporary keep from my overnight gearbox there Right, so I've got a few screws in there and made some adjustments. And we are locking, lovely. So all that leaves me to do is put the rest of the screws in the keep and then we are done here. What I should have mentioned is it's worth just checking when you've, I've just put a screw in there. So I had a screw there and a screw there. So I've put one in the back and one there and I thought I'll just test it. Uh, make sure it's not changed anything and it did it started getting stiffer so it's worth rather than putting all your screws before you put all your screws in and then find that there's a problem it's worth doing it as you go yeah that's better it was uh, it was really stiff so I can get a couple more screws in test it again and then we'll move on to the middle get some more screws in there test it and then the same with the top all I've done is put 
the additional screws in the bottom there, and that's gone it's gone really tight again. So we're gonna have to make some more adjustments. I'll just show you. So that now is quite is quite stiff. It's actually engaged the mechanism. So we'll make some more adjustments on that. Get your working right. smoother. We are done. So we've got all my screws in all the way down. So and it's all screwed up, but we're, oh, actually I'm not done. I've still got to put the little strips that go in here. I'll show you that in a sec. But as far as the door working and locking, beautiful, really nice and smooth actually. I like that. Yeah. So all that's left to do is the gaps that you're left with from there to there, and you've got one at the bottom down there. It comes in this pack with the universal kit comes with these and you just cut these it's got a curve on both on both of the bits that you got so you just cut these to length where you need them and then just they just literally tap in let's get them in now and we are done we are done so working really nicely like i say that's the little cover strips that go in there down to the mechanism universal mechanism and it's all done oh it's a busy busy day so um, I've already been to a job this morning um, that was some timber bifold doors that had just stopped closing and locking so needed quite a lot of adjustments actually on the uh, there was bolts that go into the frame top and bottom and they needed adjusting uh, the, the centre lock needed adjust, adjusting and the, uh, the master leaf as well needed a little bit of planing up so done that then you've just seen the job that I did for my friends at uh, the the Yale Universal strip that's all done uh, I'm on my way now to a key extraction then I'm going um, to look at a lady uh, uh, phoned me this morning to say that some tenants have moved out of her uh, a flat of hers that she she rents out in Hove um, and the estate agent has gone round there uh, and he's tried to gain entry and said that the, everything's rusted and corroded. He can't get in into the into the property. So we're gonna go and have a look, see what we can do there, see if we can get in and then change the lock, potentially. Um, and then uh, I'm on my way up to Burge 2 after that to look at a broken handle on a UPVC door. So yeah busy busy day now i'm looking for somewhere to park in here this is the key extraction so i hope i'm in the right place i think i am but you never know i've been here before actually but different flat right key extraction let's get this done okay i'm in between jobs so um but i've just i've just done a um a car lock out on a, on a 54 plate golf. I did it for Danny Gardner. He wasn't able to get there. And I was literally 10 minutes away. So I've gone there. Danny's quoted him 85 pound on the phone. Pretty standard. Uh, gone there. And uh, the guy told me that his keys are in the boot. So um, picked it. And I said to him, look, it's up to you. You can, you can hang about or you can go back indoors. It was, it's freezing cold. It's absolutely freezing today. Uh, so I said to him, you can go inside and I'll just, I'll just give you a knock when it's done or you can hang about. Anyway, started to pick it and I could feel it picking straight away. Within 10 seconds, it was open. He then had come to payment and he was like, how much is it? And I, I said, uh, you're quoted £85. He went, he went, yeah, but it literally took you seconds. I went, it doesn't matter. If I was here for an hour, it would be £85. He went, but it's taken you seconds. He, he couldn't grasp the fact that he's been given a he's been quoted a price. Doesn't matter how long it takes me. A price is a price. It, 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 you you know sometimes you get it with a with a slip as well. Uh, if you've slipped somebody in and it takes seconds, you've quoted them how much to get them in. They don't want to pay it um, because it's taking you seconds. It drives me mad. It really does. And I, I I said to him about three or four times. He just kept saying, "Can I have a discount?" I said, no, it's 85 pound. He said, but it took you seconds. Yep. And if it took me an hour, it would still be 85 pound. I'm not going to charge you any more for being here for an hour. So I'm not going to charge you any less for being here for, for 10 seconds. So 
he paid it in the end. Felt a little bit sorry for him because he climbed over and his keys weren't in the boot where he thought they were. Right, done the key extraction as well. So I've done the key extraction, been to the job for Danny. I'm now at the job in Hove where the letting agent or estate agent can't get into this flat. So let's go and have a look, see what's going on, see why they can't get in. Um, it's a corroded lock is what they've said. So we'll see. Okay, so <clears throat> we've gained entry to here. That one wasn't locked. This one was, um, and it turns out there's just some really bad, badly cut keys, which I've got to get rid of. Well, we're changing this lock anyway. Um, some really badly cut keys, but it was quite rusted as well. So if you look at that, and we are literally on, I'll show you. We're literally on the seafront and Hove, that's Hove Lawns over there. So, uh, yeah, it takes a bit of a, even though it's in the basement, it takes a bit of a, a beating with the um, with the weather. So, yeah, um, what we are doing is the customers decided they want to change this one anyway because it still feels a bit gaunchy. I did offer to take it out, overhaul it, but she said, no, let's just change it. Uh, this one was fine. Only got one key, so she's gonna get a key cut for that. And then there's also a back door, which is through here. Um, and this door was actually left open um, because the bolt's out and the key's just been in. So we're changing, that'd be why the key's spinning. Uh, so we're changing this one out as well, and putting a new five lever British standard sash lock on there. Um, but yeah, this was just, that was just shut like that. Not even shut. Right, so let's get on. We'll get this one on this front door. We'll get this one changed quickly first. And then we'll move out to the back. Right, so this is the new back door lock, British standard. The one that was in there was only a three lever, non-British standard. So then we've got a five lever British standard in there now. So, and that's the keep on the frame. I'll just show you that working. Door's a bit stiff, but it's, it's working. So that's that locked. And that one's fine, just needs a new key. And then this one. Uh, again, British Standard Union, five lever. Um, and the new keep on there as well. I'll just show you this one working. And that's it, all done. I'm having a bit of a day off today. Um, so I needed some new tires for my van. So literally two minutes from my house, there's a tire place, uh, Fields Tires. And, uh, and also I wanted to get the tracking done because I've noticed a bit of juddering when I'm braking and I think it could be the tracking. Anyway, took the van over to the tire place, uh, expecting, I'm expecting about 70 quid a tire, two tires, 40 quid for the tracking. What's that, 180 quid? And uh, I went up spending 328. Uh, it needed four new tires. So on one of the tires, he said it was, um, the wall was thin on one side. And then the only one good tire that I had wasn't amazing. So he said, you might as well just do all four. And apparently he's put heavy load tires on, which I didn't even know were a thing. Um, yeah, which obviously cost me more money. 328 pound, lovely. And now I'm going to pick up my daughter, Amy, who wants to sell her car. She's got a little um, Fiat 500 uh, and she wants to sell it. So we're going to whiz it over to We Buy Any Car again, which is probably actually a two minute walk, not even a two minute drive, just literally across the road for me, uh, and see what they offer her. I don't think she's gonna be happy. There we go. Oh, and then I'm popping out, I'm taking I'm taking Amy, at, actually, and then I'm picking my youngest up, Robbie, from school. I say youngest, he's 16, actually, this year. Uh, and then I'm gonna go and take him out to see my mum. She wasn't very well before Christmas, I think I mentioned that in a previous video, but yeah. Nice to pop out there. Oh, and now my van's making some funky noises. I 
and I'll turn the steering wheel. Oh, lovely, more money. I am back at the uh, camping site in Brighton. Um, they've asked me to do a quote. I've got to change. I've got a quote to change these, the cylinders on this wooden pod uh, to thumb turns and the same over there, but they're lovely little things. This one, that one's called Rock. This one's called Bell. These are lovely. This place is gorgeous, I'm telling you. There we go, in there. Look at that little pod. Beautiful. Yeah, they're lovely. Washing facilities and that over there. Over in the distance. Do your washing up, look. Have a shower, go to the toilet. Beautiful. But yeah, I think it's really nice. We've got electric hook up here. Yeah, up there, uh, somewhere up the back there, is those pods that I showed you showed you earlier. It's a much nicer day today. Look at this beautiful blue sky. Oh, what I'd do to be staying in one of these for the minute, I tell you. I know it's chilly, but a nice bit of peace and quiet, eh? A little picnic area, barbecue, gorgeous. Yeah, nice. So this this place is so lovely, and I keep saying it. But I'm really impressed. I've lived in Brighton and Hove all my life. Knew this place was here, but didn't realise how nice it is. Really like it. Um, yeah, so we finally got a bit of a, a respite, I'd say, from from uh, well from the new year. It's been really, really busy. Um, I'd say I've been averaging four jobs a day up until yesterday. I had one job come in yesterday. Um, which was a gain entry to a Citroen Berlingo, but she cancelled <laughs> because she called the AA. Uh, so she said if the AA can't get into it, then she'll call me back, but she never called back. So didn't actually do a job yesterday. And this, at the moment, what's the time now? It's Friday. <clears throat> it is half past 10 in the morning. And this is all I've had to do today. Uh... So yeah, kind of yesterday, I, I kind of, um, I don't know, I arranged to meet Amy anyway, my daughter, so it kind of worked out well that nothing really come in. So I could do some work today. Come on, guys. Get locked out or something. Um, yeah, but it's just been, yeah, the last couple of days been quiet. But it's been, it's kind of been nice. It's been a bit of a nice little change because it's been hectic, So like I say, since the new year, so... Right, let's see if anything else comes in. Okay, that's it for this video, guys. Um, I've literally, I've had a quiet day again today. Um, like I said, all I've done really is quoted for those um, for those pods, which I'm waiting to hear back from. Um, and I've done a key extraction and tightened up a keep. That's it today. <laughs> Can't be busy all the time, can you? Um, so yeah. I hope you've all had a fantastic weekend. Have a brilliant week this week and see you next week.